What's up? It's your boy DJ Win Man, and I'm back, back, back with another video. I see I just put a new uh, SD card in my camera. I got a uh, hundred and something gigabyte in one of my cameras. I had to get one for this camera too because I'll be switching uh, SD cards a lot. So I got tired of doing that. So I just put one of these uh, 128 gigs in this Canon G7X. I'm about to go give me something to eat real quick. But first I need to go to the vitamin shop and see if they got some uh, black seed oil. They're gonna give me some black seed oil. I had some before and uh, I can dig it. And I'm gonna get some more today. If these people get up out my way. Alright y'all, I'm gonna see y'all at the vitamin shop. that organic black seed oil this bottle was on sale for $18 the other bottle was uh, 25 bucks so I grabbed this same size different brand cheaper but uh take a teaspoon of this today once or twice a day it uh, helps with uh, immune support you know what I mean Cellular health, non-GMO, whatever, man. I had some before. It was all right. But it's one of them things, man. You got to get used to the taste of it because this stuff is nasty, boy. Yuck. Now I got to give me some food, man. Get ready for work. Look at that beard trying to come back. Let me go get me some vittles, man. Another dollar, y'all see, I'm at work doing my pre chip on my truck like usual, just checking out the lights, the tires, and stuff like that. Making sure um, my tandems are locked in place. Get ready to check in the back here, check the freight, make sure I got the right freight. That's the right stuff. Make sure there ain't no holes in the ceiling up there. I'm straight like that. Close this mug back up. Now walk around the other side. Do the same thing. About to hit the road. I'm actually running a little behind. And I'm looking at this camera. And I'm dark on the screen. So let me see if I can lighten this up real quick. I don't know, that's a little better, but it didn't do much. See, gotta make sure the lights is working. Make sure my air lines is hooked up right. Now I'm gonna get off in this truck. Start it on up. Do my paperwork and hit this road, buddy. I do this every day, man. I'm tired of, I'm tired of driving trucks, really, y'all. But I gotta do what I gotta do, man. Turn this radio on. Oh, man, I, you know, mm -hmm. 
one day we need to go and buy my baby and check out their what's the name for his bed. Bumper. So he can get up out that basket. Bye bye baby is expensive though. I know that because I used to deliver it them. They shit is expensive. Yeah, I know. But don't nobody else really sell bumpers. Unless I uh, order it off of Amazon. Even still, you spending 50, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Because when I went in Burlington, they probably got something now. It was just when I went before he was born. Well, they stuck. That's how I messed up my shoulder. Remember, I told you I was delivering. I picked up that heavy uh, dresser, cracked my shoulder. Sometimes that must still be hurting. I never went to the doctor to get it fixed or checked out. Mm -hmm. So, what happened to me? I went to the doctor. I just quit the job because he wasn't paying that much. I was working all them days. Sleeping in hotels and stuff, they paid for the hotel. But in the end of the, at the end of the week, I was getting two hundred dollar check, two hundred and fifty dollar check. And I was unloading the truck and everything. What the heck? Yeah, that's what I was saying when I was seeing the check. What the heck? I'm doing all this driving around town in other states, sleeping in hotels, unloading all this heavy shit by myself. At the end of the week, I pick up my check. It's two hundred dollars. $250. I think $300 was the most. I said, nah, I'm done with this shit. Every time I stick in there with a new company, nah, fuck that. New company? Yeah, that was Yo. to Indianapolis at the time. Boy, they, that don't matter. Y'all got business? Yeah, they had uh, other businesses in Texas. I was like, nah, I'm cool. Man, they crazy. You can't do nothing with $200. And I worked all week. Hey, nah. That's how they be doing these companies there. Oh, hanging and hanging there. You'll get to the top. How long is it going to take me to get to the top? Shit, I'm making busting my ass for $200. Yeah. That's why people don't be wanting to work these jobs and shit. They'd rather be in the street hustling. People got bills to pay. Y'all don't giving us $200 a week. Ain't, ain't nothing. Rent is Especially 800 Man. You give me $200 a week. That means all my check got to go to the rent. Not even the light bill. All right. You can't yeah. even go get a new car. No, you can't even feed yourself. Can't even feed yourself. And then if you got kids, what the heck? Y'all want me to <laughs> rob somebody. Just set up to fail out here. Be busting y'all asses for no two to hundred hours. Nowhere. Well, if you young and you work a cool year side job, that's cool. But if you humping and humping and humping, and they giving you two hundred dollars and you halfway killing yourself, it ain't worth it. To me, it ain't. Yeah. It ain't worth it if you got somebody else to take care of. That's not, that's not going to help you struggle no more. I'm about to go to uh, Anton, my cousin Anton, son, birthday party, Sean. We got to go find him something. We're going to go to Walmart, maybe. Well, I don't even think this is maybe. This is definitely going to Walmart, find him something. We're going to go to the party. Yeah, can't show up empty-handed.